Hey everyone, welcome to a quick how-to. My impact wrench is uh, broken and I figured I might as well uh, take it apart and salvage what I can. As you can see there's no connection between the, the motor and the output shaft. It's, I, can, I can stop it whenever I feel like it. So. so let's dissect this thing and see if I can pick anything apart. taking it apart I noticed that this ball bearing ball wasn't uh, it wasn't where it's supposed to be it got jammed in between uh, I guess it's the shaft and some sort of clutch right now I'm not really sure how this impact wrench works so all I'm trying to do here is try to pry that ball bearing ball out of there and it won't budge <laughs> I uh, I uh, decided to uh, call it quits before I stab myself in the hand with my screwdriver. So just to verify what's going on, I, I assemble the parts again and add uh, the, the output shaft of the, the actual impact wrench isn't really uh, spinning as you can see. The motor is working and everything else is working, um, but this part that's disconnected from from the rest of the, the assembly or the rest of the drive shaft so this is just to verify what's going on because i i haven't picked one of these apart i'm testing my way and yeah it's obvious that something isn't connecting as it should be and it's due to that ball bearing ball i figured out that much so i decided to see if i could take that clutch assembly apart <laughs> and yeah my hands are greasy these uh, pliers are uh, way too big to manip manipulate with one hand even for my big mitts so this was tedious <laughs> but yeah I, I got it in the end and uh, at, at this stage I figure out how this works because I started trying to turn it to try to take it apart and yeah there's a spring-loaded mechanism that when I turned it the ball bearing ball popped back into its original place And now, as you can see, it connects as it should. And when putting it back together, we see that the output shaft is now turning as it should. With the help of electricity, of course. So, let's put it back together and see if it works afterwards as well which is not always the case, let me tell you. Here I'm just tightening the bolts and loosening him just to make sure. And I prefer to hand tighten the first turn so it, it goes on. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.